I believe anything's possible. When I look at my life, I wonder how I got to the point where I am. Why I am now took a lot of work, heartbroken was, and a lot of ups and downs. I never thought I would be in college. I was told by a lot of my teachers I will only receive a certificate when I graduate from high school. People always told me I was not good enough and I would not make anything out of my life. When people told me those words, it devastated me. It made me feel so small on the inside, but I knew some way, somehow, I would make it and be somebody. At school, I would always try to ask for help. If I did not understand what was going on, I would just stay behind and ask for help instead of just leaving the class and not caring if I got the work done or not. I would always try and hang out with the positive people in my life and not the friends that would stop me from achieving my goals. It started to feel like no matter how hard I worked, I was getting nowhere. It still looked like it was impossible for me to make it in life. I got to the point where I would not even go to class. I stayed in trouble, but deep down inside, I wanted to become somebody. I wanted to be able to be on my own and have a great job when I got older. I knew it would be impossible without a high school diploma. One day, my behavior was so out of control that my teacher told me, you know, it's real. With that kind of behavior, there's no way you will ever make anything out of your life or even make it to high school. I can only see you in jail. Those words hurt more than anything. The only thing I wanted to do was cry it out and tell her, I can be something, I will be something. I just need someone that will believe in me and encourage me. I asked my mom if I was a disappointment to her, and she said no. She just wanted what was best for me. As long as I was trying, that's all that mattered. She would love me unconditionally, no matter what. I only wanted what was best for me, but getting there was the hard part. Soon after that, one of my teachers sat down with me, and she told me, I know you're smart, you try to be, and if you always give up, then all the people that ever said negative and hurtful words are only winning. I did not want them to win. I wanted to show them that I could be anything I put my mind to, and it's not impossible for me to make something out of my life. After the talk with her and the encouragement that she gave me, I tried and I tried until I started seeing a change. The F's were turned into C's and I started slowly moving out of my special ed classes into college classes. The next step was for me to pass my tax test and there would be a chance I would be able to receive a high school diploma. I waited and I waited and the day came. The teacher received our test scores. She told us that at the end of class, she would hand them back to us. I could hardly wait to see if all the work I had put in had paid off. As she passed out the scores, she never handed me one. She told me that I needed to see my school counselor for my test scores. I was scared I did not know what to think. I knew I had failed. I just I didn't even bother going to the office. I just went home. I did not even go back to school. I only had thoughts of dropping out of school and later on in life getting my GED. When I did return back to school two weeks later, I had a letter saying that I needed to see my counselor. On my way to the office, I was scared. I had no idea what was going to happen. Part of me wanted to believe I passed, but the other part of me knew I was not smart enough to pass the test. I sat there for a few minutes, but it seemed like forever. Finally, she came. We sat down in her office, and she went over everything. All the news was given was bad, but finally she told me I did not pass my tax test but I would be able to make it up in summer. If I pass my test in the summer and keep my grades up, I'll be able to graduate in spring of 2008. I went to summer school and I did pass my test. My senior year of high school, I did what I had to do and graduated from high school. Now a few years later, I am in college and still trying to make something out of my life. The only thing that matters is I proved to all the people that ever said hurtful words that I made it. I believe if I try and give it all, anything is possible, no matter how hard anything might get.